Okay, so now let's have a look at some half rolls. These are a shot that many people find quite difficult. So technique's different, and that means that you've got more to learn, you're not in your natural body position, and they are genuinely more difficult than either a drive or a stop shot. Okay, now if you can remember back to when we looked at a drive, the mallet position came into the balls flat like that. This time on a half roll, we're going to want to impart top spin and hit down on the yellow ball. Hit it into the ground so it bounces up, keeps rolling forward and goes further than it would in a drive. Now to do that, the mallet has to hit the yellow in a different position. And we're probably going to be looking at that type of position. Now as you can see, the mallet's now pointing a long way forward and my hand is a long way forward. I'm no longer here, I've moved over to there. If I move my hands forward, the feet have to move forward, don't they? Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, so what happened there? The blue has gone a couple of feet past the yellow flag, so maybe 14 and a half yards. The yellow's finished, again, a couple of feet past the, the red flag, which is six yards, so six and a half, 14, yeah, roughly about a half roll. What was different about my body position, though? Obviously, the feet were further forward, the mallet was leaning forward, and I hovered the mallet over the back of the ball, so I was hitting down on it, and that hover position, I think, is very handy. But again, notice that throughout the shot, I was balanced, good body position, and my grip was different this time, wasn't it? That bottom hand went lower down the shaft, ability to punch more down into the ball, and that's one of the really important factors. If you look at the video again, you'll see that yellow ball just hop up after I've hit it, and then roll forward.